mentioned that earlier. All right. Well, where were we? Oh, yes. We're continuing with more poetry, and our next poet is Jack Brewer. Jack, come on up. The crew of the Tenth Band Organization. Incidentally, I know my first piece is called Fred Presented Himself. And uh, it's a, uh, about a meeting with my cousin, Joe, and uh, Fred Torres, a friend of mine, didn't make the open reading tonight. But just, yeah, in his own words, He'll tell you, Joe Brewer. This should be interesting. I'm going to. This should be interesting. I'm going to see if these echoes pick up from here. to Joseph, who impulsively unlatched the perplexed and faulty locks, bringing in the final con infliction. The wine was a vintage, its color bloodshot red, tearful, its spirit rippled with the ranting of drowning soul searchers. Its alluring shape settled on a mantle while it read and shed its fragrance, committing itself to the atmosphere as we converse. Words poured out, leading this four nations, philosophical stabs. Meanwhile, Joseph tried the screen door to let a fly out, returning to us to read his poem. And it went like this. Here's a poem called Blue Eyes. My cousin liked it so much he put it on a, on a record album and he recited it. It's kind of like a jazzy makeshift album. Anyways, Blue Eyes, stones in your river, steel, slate, hues of a measured indifference. The other day I said something so real, so did my supposed friends in the room. I said, I love you, Chris. The words blossomed like smoke that blew up through the ceiling. But you, if you look at this statement, my calling on you seems to answer in my mind. How can people parry the real and create a world so unreal they can't even talk about it or look at you, Joseph Richard Brewer? Thank you, Joseph. <laughs> 